ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय मुतुकारेयशोदा मुंगिट मुत्यमुनीडु दीतरानी महिमाला देवकी सुतुडु मुतुकारेयशोदा मुंगिट मुत्यमुनीडु दीतरानी महिमाला Okay. Okay, the meaning of the song is the description of the childhood activities of Krishna. Okay, how he used to uh, go away from Yashoda, run away, and Yashoda Mata used to go and catch him and all, right? Go behind him. And then Yashoda Mata used to praise him. Krishna was very cute when he was a kid, right? So he was, he was called Darling of Vrindavan. Okay, so everybody's favorite was Krishna. He was so cute. He used to talk so well. He, uh, he, he, know, he knew how to win everybody's heart. Okay, so um, he was 
he was so cute and he used to do all kind of mischievous activities he would catch everybody's attention when he was a kid right so this is a very nice description of his childhood song uh, uh, childhood activities okay uh, and uh, how he used to behave so he is compared to all the gems okay muttyamu means uh, pearl okay and uh, so uh, that's how he was even gems are very less to be compared with krishna because he was so attractive and he was so nice okay and let's begin with today's chapter day 17 okay before that i want to know how many of you chant regularly just raise your hand i just want the number i'm not even looking at the names okay so don't think okay i uh, if i don't raise if i don't raise my hands something will happen if i raise my hand something will happen nothing will happen i just want the final number just for an idea okay where i stand you know is is my whatever i'm telling you helping you or not just for me to analyze where i stand nothing else okay regularly at least one round if you chant you can raise your hands okay even if you chant just one round you can ch- uh, you can raise your hand okay one round three rounds how many ever rounds you chant okay i'm getting nice answers in the chat okay okay you can all uh, lower your hands in case you want to go to level 2 uh, a minimum criteria is to chant one round okay just to let you know uh, if you don't chant one round you cannot go to level 2 okay so uh, chanting is important if you want to proceed with krishna consciousness in iskon okay um, yeah so all of you start chanting if you have not started and level 2 is advanced study of bhagavad gita now you are just doing surface level right in one class you are doing one chapter this is called level 1 okay if you go to sunday school and if you get your sunday school certificate you can directly go to level 2 after this batch but uh, for sun, uh, for uh, uh, level 2 you need to chant one round that's the criteria that's the eligibility criteria we all have this percentage system no if you want to go to college you need to score good marks in 10th standard same way if you want to go to the next level you have to chant at least uh, one round okay uh for level 2 you need to attend sunday school get the sunday school certificate after that you can go to level 2 okay yeah so sunday school links are already posted in the group if you want i will share it again okay through sunday school you all can go to level 2 because you are all kids right level 2 starts from youth and if you want to directly go to level 2 after level 1 after this patch then you have to be 16 years old okay uh otherwise you have to uh, go through the sunday school okay and so day 17 uh, chapter 17 uh, based on the teachings uh, whatever we are learning is based on the teachings of his divine grace ac bhakti vedanta swami prabhupada he is the founder acharya of iskon okay so shraddha traya vibhaga yoga so shraddha traya okay so we have three types of faith okay traya is three shraddha is faith okay so krishna uh, in this chapter describes what are these three divisions of faith vibhaga is division how is faith divided into three forms okay uh, so three kinds of faith uh, and then he also talks about food how how uh, what food we should eat okay what sort of sacrifice we should do what sort of austerities we should perform so the entire lifestyle mantra krishna gives in this chapter okay what exactly we need to how exactly we need to live okay and then um uh, what what kind of food comes in which mode everything he discusses in this chapter okay and the conclusion is definitely om tat sat that is krishna is the supreme absolute 
truth there's nothing beyond him there's nothing without him okay yeah um okay i've posted the attendance link okay yeah Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Ajnanatami Ramdasya Jnana Anjana Shalakaya Chakshurin Militam Yena Tasmaya Shri Guru Venamaha Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prishthaya Bhutale Shrimate Bhakti Vedanta Swamin Nitinamini Namaste Saraswati Deve Gauravani Pracharini Nirvishesha Shunevadi Pashati Deshatarini Jayu Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadra Shri Vasadi Gauravakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Okay, so we are doing everything for the pleasure of the Lord and through His mercy. We are not gaining, we don't want any result, right? All our karma pala, we are giving it to the Lord. So let's offer our obediences. Okay, now Arjuna is asking Krishna, what is the situation? So in last chapter, remember, we described, uh, we learned that we have to live according to the scriptures, right? Scriptures have all the rules that a person has to follow as long as he's in this material world, right? Uh, so now uh, Arjuna is saying, but we, we see a lot of people who don't, do not follow scriptural rules, right? Uh, they drink, they smoke, uh, uh, they gamble and all that. So now Arjuna is asking, a lot of people do not follow scriptures. They worship according to their imagination, right? Some people worship ghosts and all, right? So uh, Arjuna is asking, a lot of people do not follow scriptural rules, uh, right? Uh, they worship according to their imagination. So which mode do these people belong to? Okay, people who don't worship uh, according to the scriptures, which mode do they belong to? Now Krishna starts answering, okay? Now, as long as we are there in this material body, okay, as long as the soul is in the material body, we have to, we have to be controlled by any of the three material modes, okay? Material modes is goodness, passion or ignorance, right? Sattva, uh, Rajas and Tamo, right? We have to be controlled because we are all in ignorance, right? Foolishness, we've forgotten God and that's why we are here suffering according to our karma and we are under the control of Maya. And Maya is the one who controls the material modes, right? So, we, are, we have to be under the control of some mode, okay? Now, uh, but if one is situated in the Krishna consciousness, that is Shuddha Sattva Guna, then he is transcending all the three modes. We saw in the 14th chapter, right, where we learnt the three modes of material nature. Um, our devotee is always beyond the three modes of material nature, okay? Uh, he can, no modes can touch him. He is neither good nor passionate, nor ignorant, okay? He is beyond all the three because he is in Krishna consciousness, okay? He is in pure Krishna consciousness. And that is the path that guarantees our spiritual success, our perfection stage, our perfection, highest stage of life, okay? And uh, for that, Guru is needed, definitely. And when do you get a Guru? When you start becoming serious in Krishna consciousness and start chanting 16 rounds, okay? When you start chanting 16 rounds, uh, I mean, when you, at least for that, you have to start chanting at least one round, okay? When you start chanting, uh, uh, what happens? Uh, Krishna will start seeing that you are becoming serious, okay? And when you chant regularly, you become cleansed of all material desires, right? Uh, all uh, bad qualities in you go away, you become a very good human being. And then Krishna says, okay, you are becoming pure, you can come to me, okay? So that time he will send a guru. And Guru comes and molds you into a perfect devotee and then takes you, shows you the way and takes you to Krishna. Okay, so all this happens the moment you get situated in Krishna consciousness. And you get situated in Krishna consciousness only when you start chanting. Okay, that is the pre preliminary prerequisite. Okay, very important. See, uh, as long as we are in this material world, no, we keep, uh, uh, there are so many paths, no, distracting us. We don't even know sometimes where to go, what to do. Like in the case of Aghasura, okay, Aghasura is a huge demon, okay, uh, uh, so all of them, when Aghasura opened its mouth, all of them thought it, it is some nice uh, uh, playground for them to play, so it, it was a cave, they all thought, okay, they will go, so all the coward boys there, Gopas, okay, they went into the cave, I mean, in mouth of Aghasura thinking it's a cave, and they, they all thought we can go inside and play, okay, so they all went inside, uh, and you know why they went inside? 
they always knew krishna will be there for their protection that is called faith okay always faith faith is important okay faith in the lord so uh, they, they they were like okay if something happens to us if there is some animal in the cave eating us uh, krishna will come and save us so that is the faith they all had and that's why they went inside the uh, uh, mouth of aghasura okay and uh, they went inside and then uh, they got, got to know it's a demon and uh, all that happened right and then uh, they were about to be killed by the demon so what happened that time they all screamed krishna 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 help us then krishna went inside and helped right so um, krishna is always there for his devotees okay he is our father he is our friend however you uh, uh, you know relate with him if you if you make friendship with him he becomes your friend okay if you if you build enmity with him definitely he will become your enemy okay so what how you receive krishna krishna is that for you okay so radha rani's parents actually meditated they wanted krishna as their daughter okay so it's not that you uh, krishna is just a guy you have to worship him in a guy's form no if you want krishna as a girl you can worship him in a girl form also you can you can think okay krishna is my mother krishna will definitely uh, behave with you like a mother okay so because radha rani's parents meditated they want krishna in a daughter form that's why radha rani came radha rani is female version of krishna okay because they told daughter radha uh, krishna was like okay fine i'll become a female uh, 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 now and then i will go to them so that's uh, that's how he became a female version and radha rani is called female version of krishna there is no difference between radha and krishna okay and um, yeah so uh, if you want krishna to be a mother not just our father father all the time you can also think krishna to be a mother he will re- definitely uh, react with you like a mother okay so wherever you go tell krishna that i'm doing this i'm doing that and krishna will always be there for your protection okay tell him ask him for blessings ask him for help okay i have posted the attendance link already okay one more time i'll post and then i'll be posting at the end of the class okay take it now now so kamsa again sent so aghasar also kamsa only sent there is one more demon uh, trinavarta okay trinavarta is a form of a wind whirlwind okay uh, so uh, trinavarta also came same thing he wanted to kill krishna but what happened krishna became so heavy when trinavarta carried krishna krishna became so heavy 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 and then uh, trinavarta couldn't carry him okay couldn't bear his uh, weight so what happened trinavarta fell down okay he left krishna also and then uh, he died right krishna killed him uh, right so uh, that's how krishna is um, you you cannot escape from these uh, difficulties and worldly um, dangers and all that okay only krishna's lotus feet can save you okay only krishna's holy name can save you you know what chaitanya mahaprabhu went to uh, uh, yeah forest okay uh, he went to a forest and uh, jharkhand forest it is called okay and then um, uh, you know when he went there there were so many wild animals elephant lion tiger and all okay uh, all attacking him okay when the moment obviously wild animals what do they do they attack people right they want flesh to eat now when chaitanya mahaprabhu went who is chaitanya mahaprabhu radha and krishna right radha and krishna in a combined form right and uh, what did what did he do when he entered the forest he started chanting okay he did uh, uh, kirtan of hare krishna maha mantra he sang hare krishna maha mantra okay he kept chanting he kept singing kept, kept singing kept singing kept singing kept singing and you know what happened okay to our surprise the miracle happened all the wild animals started dancing for the kirtan okay every every all the animals who actually came to attack him what did they do they started dancing for the kirtan and they all started becoming devotees of the lord all the wild animals so a devotee has the power to convert even an animal into a devotee can you can you even imagine so if if that is possible i think definitely all of us if we start chanting we we are not animals right we are all humans and we are not so bad like valmiki uh, like ratnakar we are all good right so we can definitely go to krishna faster we can definitely become devotees of krishna faster right but all is needed is you need to chant every day regularly okay just one round is enough one round is how much one or eight times 
on your Japa Mala. Okay, I've given you the app link, Japa counter. If you don't have Japa Mala, you can use the app. Otherwise, if you don't want to use the app, you can play the video that I play in, at the beginning of the class and you can chant with the video with Prabhupada. Okay, it is one or eight times. Okay, so uh, that's how it is. Okay, we are not so bad. Definitely, we can chant. Okay, so concentration definitely focus goes here and there. But do you think Krishna will not help us if you ask him for help? Hmm? Will Krishna say, no, no, you have to focus on your own. I will not help you. No, right? We want to go back home. Yes. But Krishna is more anxious to take us back home. Do you understand? He is waiting for us. We are not waiting to go to Krishna as much as he is waiting. But he, day and night, he is waiting for us because we are his children. Okay? So, he, he just wants to see little bit of desire. You really want to go back to Krishna? Go ask him. Krishna, I am not getting focus. I am not, I, I want to chant. I am not finding time. He will make time. He will help you focus. He will do everything for you. But you have to chant in return. You have to thank him, right? How do you thank him? Through chanting. Okay? I have already posted the attendance link. Okay? Scroll on top. You will get it. Okay? If you have not got it, I will post it at the end of the class. Now, uh, so these are all goodness. People in goodness, what do they do? Okay? Okay, one moment. I will enable chat for everybody. Um, one, one of you can post it for everybody. Yeah. Suryansh, post it once again for everybody. You've posted it for me. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Now, so these are the qualities of people in goodness. Okay. So, they, they are in spirit, always with enthusiasm to do something new, to learn something new. Right. A confident. And then they, they, they are communicating with everybody instantly, constantly, okay? And empathy, showing compassion over others, okay? And then uh, assertiveness, okay? Assertiveness is you have to be affirm uh, on certain things. You, you should know where to say no to certain things, okay? Whatever people come and ask you, don't say, yes, yes, I will do it for you. They will ask something bad and you will say yes. So that is wrong. And so you should you should know where to say no to people. Okay, when they are when you know they are doing something bad, you should definitely oppose it. Okay, that is called assertiveness, being firm. And then definitely your personality, your intelligence, your mindset, everything depends on the good thoughts that you get in your mind, and that molds your personality. Okay, yeah. And uh, yeah, so all that begins with these eliminating these qualities in us. Anger, fear, lust, confusion, right? Uh, all of these, temptation, you know, uh, uh, somebody is eating non-witch uh, and you are so tempted, right? So all these, all these things are obstructing us on our journey to Krishna consciousness. And then, these are good qualities we have to develop, okay? Enthusiasm that I already told you, okay? Ask a lot of questions, be inquisitive, okay? When I ask you in question answer session any questions, nobody asks me any questions. It's either you that you've understood everything or you've not understood anything. Okay. Uh, so, uh, so obviously, uh, when you ask questions, you will learn. You will get clarity over things. Okay. Still, uh, still, still, I see somebody asking me, one round means what? I've, I've told you so many times, right? One round of chanting is one or eight times on your Japa Mala. So, if you don't understand things, you should always ask me questions. That is the reason there is Q&A session. Right. Uh, so, cultivate these good habits and just by, you know, uh, thinking, reading all this, uh, reading whatever is written in the slide, you will not cultivate good habits. You have to start chanting. Okay, the moment you start chanting, you will slowly start cultivating all these habits. Right, I already told you, determination is so important. Right, no time I will not chant. See, I can't do it. No time only for me to do. If you if you are so negative, how how will you achieve something in life? You will definitely go go become negative. See, somebody is saying we are all monkey minded. How do we chant? Definitely, we are all monkey minded. We don't get focus only while chanting, right? But do you leave it there? No determination. Are we also coward? Right? No, right? Uh, we are definitely uh, we have little courage at least in us, right? So we have to cut off that can't t out of it and say we can, okay? That is called determination. Okay. 
what ma'am can it be only on japa or without japa or, or i didn't understand what japa okay now sattva tamas and rajas so self aversion okay so um people in ignorance okay they are dull depressed always negative i can't do it i can't and they leave it okay they give it up so easily that means they're spoiling their life okay they damage their life they have a nice opportunity they damage saying i can't do it okay and then they neglect okay they don't even find ways how to do it okay and then they deny all the opportunities they have and that's why they are inactive underactive okay that is how people in ignorant uh, ignorance are but as people in uh, passion they are over excited they overdo things see ignorance they don't do anything and in people in passionate a uh, passion uh, uh, more they overdo everything which is again not right okay and uh, uh, they overdo and they become a maniac okay like um, uh, watching tv they they binge watch episodes and all that or your uh, you know shows online okay on any of these uh, netflix and all that they binge watch every day uh, morning till evening they watch 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 they overdo things and then finally they end up getting no time for anything else no time to study no time to chant no time for anything okay they become so obsessive this is mine how can you take it this is not yours it's all krishna's okay uh, and then uh, they become addicted okay and um, and then they're so greedy right everything is mine i don't want to give away to give it away to anybody and then that's how you become selfish and overactive okay these are all people in passion so either being in ignorance or being in um rajoguna is wrong okay being in goodness is the only thing that can take you to krishna so now krishna says so now the i mean now, now that krishna says being in krishna consciousness is the only way to go back home to attain moksha arjuna is asking uh, krishna okay what are the symptoms of people in krishna consciousness that is arjuna is asking what are the how do people in people in krishna consciousness as in how are devotees uh can be identified how do they look how do they sit how do they talk how do they uh, walk okay uh, so how are devotees basically okay how are people in krishna consciousness act okay how do we identify them okay what are their qualities okay so far whatever we discussed they are all qualities of a devotee the soft skill no the empathy uh, uh, assertiveness right determination all these are traits of one belonging in krishna consciousness and that is in goodness basically shuddha sattva guna pure goodness okay so so more addition to it is time management they don't waste time okay it's very easy to say no i i don't i didn't get time only to do so sit the moment you say that sit and think what all did you do de- do the entire day okay did you do anything so important that you did not get time to chant what all did you do make a list what all did you do where your time went off okay just japa matlab what japa mala are you talking about maulika it, the mala is called i mean are you talking about this this is called japa mala okay japa is the chanting that you do you you say no with your mouth hare krishna hare krishna that is called japa japa mala is this okay japa bag is this okay so you, you i just told you if you don't have japa mala you can download the app japa counter which i have already posted in the group and chant okay with the japa counter app you can count one or eight times there if you don't want to chant with the app you can play the video that i play at the beginning of the class if you attend japa session at the beginning of the class you will know what video i have played okay and that video you can play and start chanting okay with the pravapad pravapad chants in that video and you can all start chanting with it okay uh, that also helps okay mm, so there are a lot of options for you to chant okay so time management it's very easy to say no time but please understand where you wasted your time okay and um, de- definitely because we have wasted our time we are not finding time okay so manage your time well uh, in school also teachers will teach you that only right uh, yeah you can chant at night you can chant in morning any time you want you can chant okay teachers also teach you that only no make a time table study time table and then go home study follow that and all that right same way you have to make a time table for your spiritual progress as well because food for soul is what hare krishna maha mantra 
you are feeding the body nice food you are eating but what about the soul how will your soul be happy we saw right in uh, uh, previous chapters food for soul is hari krishna mahamantra you are the soul you are not the body there is no point starving like this chant because if your soul is not fed with hari krishna mahamantra that means your soul is starving your soul is starving means you are sol- uh, starving because you are the soul right so you have to feed your soul properly otherwise you have to suffer okay suffering if you don't want to chant be ready to suffer okay be ready to suffer even for the mistakes you have not done because you have done some karma in your previous janma right that mistakes that punishments you have to suffer now if you want to escape all the karma activity karma reactions and stop suffering chant right now start chanting so that all your karmas will be burnt krishna will burn okay yajante satvika devan yaska rakshamsi rajasah प्रेतान भूता गुणाम चान्ये यजन्ते तामसा जनः ओके सो मेन इन द मोड ऑफ गुडनेस वर्शिप डेमी गॉड्स नाउ अर्जुना इज आस्किंग नो हाउ हाउ व्हाट आर द क्वालिटीज ऑफ अ डिवोटी हाउ डू वी आइडेंटिफाई अ डिवोटी सो डिवोटी नाउ कृष्णा इज सेइंग पीपल इन गुडनेस वर्शिप डेमी गॉड्स आई वांट दिस आई वांट दैट सो दे वर्शिप डेमी गॉड्स दे वर्शिप गणेश दे वांट दे इफ दे वांट मनी दे वर्शिप लक्ष्मी राइट एंड दोस इन द मोड ऑफ a uh, passion worship demons that means they worship a uh, big influential people like uh, like uh, politicians uh, li- uh, right if you want to become a class monitor you will start uh, you know becoming very close to your teacher <laughs> right i've seen lot of people do this in in uh, when i was in school this used to happen okay they they used to become very close to teacher and they used to do or uh, whatever teacher uh, says so that the teacher would select them and make them the class monitor right that is called worshiping influential people okay just because they want something from it okay worshiping worshiping politicians so that they will get power and money okay all this is people in the mode of passion whereas people in the mode of ignorance they worship ghosts and spirit uh, you know like um, uh, these uh, you know black magic people and all they wor- they sit in the night and worship no all uh, they go to the graveyard and worship so all that is people in the mode of ignorance they worship ghosts and spirit okay uh, so uh, krishna is uh, making it very clear so here sattva guna like i told uh, worship demigods uh, uh, whereas passionate people worship demons and people in the mode of ignorance worship de- uh, demons okay now uh, now the question is what does people in the mode of now who worship krishna we told people in the mode of goodness worship demigods right then who worships krishna any anybody knows the answer put it in the chat quick quick we just said people in the mode of goodness worship demigods people in the mode of go- goodness do not worship krishna right then who worship krishna yes i got the answer very good shuddha sattva guna ayush right uh, so shuddha sattva guna is shuddha is pure sattva is goodness right so shuddha is pure so pure goodness so a devotee is a person who is situated in pure goodness and those people worship krishna okay uh, it's not easy to worship krishna leaving all demigods okay because even after listening to so many bhagavad gita classes still we have we we have this tendency i want that uh, i will worship the, this god so that i will get this i want some pocket money i'll worship lakshmi devi so that she will give me some money okay after listening to so many classes also we have this tendency right so it's not easy to go to the shuddha sattva platform how do you go to this platform only if you start chanting properly and regularly okay and uh, some people even without chanting they've uh, gone to the shuddha sattva guna how because of their parents probably parents would have been worshiping krishna at home or in their previous janma they would have been worshiping krishna okay that's why in this janma also you started worshiping krishna instantly okay so um this is how people in shuddha sattva guna behave they are called devotees so i told you devotees are neither in the mode of passion goodness or ignorance they are beyond that beyond that comes shuddha sattva guna that is pure goodness okay they are people who worship krishna and this is people in the mode of passion they want to become famous right they want mystic powers so do do all this right uh, these are all not recommended in the scriptures no scripture say you should you should uh, do all this some people pure something to their tongue and all no so you should not hurt your body like that okay these are all not there in the scriptures but they are doing it 
people in the mode of passion they don't even know that they should not do all this so they do all this okay uh, so all this is wrong krishna will not like it okay and uh, see shuddha sattva guna these are the people like prabhupada and all the devotees of the lord they are called vaishnavas they are called devotees they are called people in the mode of pure goodness okay shuddha sattva guna they worship radha and krishna okay so now krishna talks about food also see even food of which all partake is of three kinds okay even food is divided into shuddha i mean uh, sattva rajo and tamo gunas okay uh, so uh, the same goes with austerities sacrifices and charity <clears throat> okay so now we are seeing the foods okay so animal fat we all want animal fat to our body uh, for our body right that doesn't mean you kill animal and eat okay so animal fat is available in the form of milk okay and all the milk products cheese paneer butter okay cream all of this has um uh, animal fat so you can always take this instead of eating non veg okay some people say proteins is available only in non vegetarian food no food grains has proteins no uh, the sprouts you can definitely eat sprouts for proteins okay uh, some people say only egg has uh, protein no who said all vegetables also have protein content in them okay so uh, it is by brute mentality that is being cruel that we go and kill animals okay we go and slaughter animals and eat them eat them okay uh, and then and the civilized method of obtaining needed fat is by milk okay not by slaughtering okay so remember one thing you go kill an animal or somebody kills an animal you go buy that and you eat okay uh, the non veg food that animal in your next or the other next janma that animal will definitely kill you okay remember that that is the law of karma right we all know so foods in the mode of goodness what are those okay all vegetables fruits okay these are all foods in the mode of goodness okay uh, grains okay everything that you are seeing now so one uh, so food in the mode of goodness what are the benefits it increases your life span okay so uh, you cannot you should not eat egg okay egg non veg onion garlic these are all uh, uh krishna doesn't like all this so you should not eat all this okay you should eat only vegetarian food egg is not vegetarian food okay so it increases life span okay you will not get diseases you will get immunity okay uh, and you can purify your thought process when you eat uh, should uh, for goodness for foods in the mode of goodness okay uh, sweet ju uh, juice okay fresh uh, fruit juices and then uh, uh, milk milk has fat in it right and then all these belong to foods are in the mode of goodness whereas very spicy food sour too sour too bitter too salty all too much no too too dry too cold too hot these are all foods belonging to the mode of passion okay so don't avoid this you don't have to eat hot hot and then uh, uh, burn your mouth and tongue no you can leave it for some time let it cool down a little bit okay and then you can eat okay and uh, yeah so foods in the mode of um, in the mode of no, uh, uh, ignorance they are tasteless they are spoiled food that is dead like non veg and all it uh, it is all putrefied right because it is a dead body what do we do when a human being dies we burn or because the uh, the human being body starts stinking right same goes with other dead bodies as well even when a plant dies it starts stinking right do we eat dead plants no we eat only fresh fruits and vegetables right and uh, when the moment you eat non veg it is dead right you are eating something which is putrid right uh, uh, and decomposed so the moment it is dead that means the soul is not there no in the body the energy is not there in the body so uh, the body is obviously uh, called dead uh, it, it is stale okay and you are eating that and so your mind and your thoughts also will become dead that means you will not become uh, energetic you will not get good thoughts in your mind okay you will get only bad thoughts in your mind yeah so uh, what you eat uh, i mean what you are is depending on uh, it depends on what you eat okay what you are depends on what you eat why because see when you when you get some uh, say jaundice okay when people get jaundice when they go to the doctor what, the, what does the doctor say avoid this food avoid that food 
right doctor gives you a diet plan right you should eat only this uh, you should eat uh, drink milk uh, and little con little foods only you can eat you cannot eat everything right why because it is not good for the body right uh, so that means it is understood what we eat definitely has an impact on our body right at the same time what we eat definitely has an impact on our we have three coverings right subtle body uh, soul soul subtle body and uh, material body right what you are seeing is the material body inside that mind and intelligence is the subtle body inside that you have the soul right so what you eat depends on uh, it has an impact on all the three bodies that you have okay so the material body as long as uh, I, it, it it again goes with the doctor's example that i gave you okay but and uh, so that is absorbed by the material body now some of the food that you eat no that is absorbed in the uh, subtle body also okay the uh, middling ingredient that is the nutrients and all that get absorbed in the flesh okay and the subtlest in the ingredient okay uh, gets absorbed in the mind for the uh, mind and intelligence to work okay so the food you eat is divided into three parts okay the grossest ingredient becomes your digestive uh, you know um, uh, pulp okay uh, and then the middling ingredient comes into the cells and all the nutrients part of it goes into all this uh, flesh that is all the cell and cell of your body and the subtlest ingredient okay of the food there is something called subtlest ingredient also that goes into your mind mind and consciousness so if you eat dead bodies okay like a non veg food your the same thing gets absorbed in your mind and your mind also starts making dead thoughts okay uh, if you eat fresh see do uh, we always eat fresh i mean fruits and vegetables okay that time what happens the same thing gets absorbed in your mind and your thoughts will become fresh okay your thoughts will become good okay you will start liking krishna consciousness okay this is the only way to go back to krishna okay and uh, yeah so how uh, yeah we uh, eating krishna prasadam is also going to be a very powerful technique yesterday remember i told you the see three secrets to krishna consciousness is chanting every day regularly okay and then eating krishna prasad and then devotee association correct so uh, eating krishna prasadam means offering food to the lord right so you can offer milk you can offer water you can offer fruits you can offer vegetables like a salad right you can cut vegetables add salt to it little and then chili powder and then or pepper and then offer it to the lord and then eat okay but if you want to offer cooked food definitely you don't cook your parents cook right at home so if you want your mom to offer cooked food to the lord there are certain conditions okay you have to take bath and cook okay you cannot cook non veg at home if you are offering food to the lord okay you should always uh, have krishna in your mind when cooking okay i'm i'm cooking for krishna or you can chant hari naam and then uh, cook while cooking while frying or something while cutting vegetables and all you can chant hari naam are hare krishna maha mantra and then uh, cook while cooking okay and then uh, you have to offer it to the lord with tulsi leaf in it okay in a separate plate and uh, a glass okay keep it separately for krishna buy a new one keep it separately for krishna uh, don't you don't use it okay because krishna is the lord right do we do it for guests for guests we usually have a nice dinner set and all no at home in the same way for krishna also we have to use a different one okay and then offer whatever you are offering with love and devotion because otherwise krishna will not accept i mean tulsi leaf has to be there krishna is not hungry he doesn't want rice and all that okay he takes your devotion and love through what you are offering okay and when you eat krishna prasadam it's it's our benefit you are coming coming out of your karma the moment you give food to krishna you're giving all your karmas to krishna remember that okay and all your karma you you will come out of it but if you chant you will come out of karma even more easily okay it is a shortcut chanting is a shortcut to go back to krishna okay uh, that's why uh, chaitanya mahaprabhu came see acha uh, sankirtan yagna okay and that is the prescribed dharma in kali yuga okay yeah so one who acts to serve krishna with his body mind and intelligence and words see what you think it should be about krishna what you speak it should be about krishna what you do it should be for krishna okay even uh, in this material world if you do if you behave like this then you, it's like you you don't have to suffer 
okay you you become a liberated soul that means you don't have to suffer uh, about anything um if you uh, if you do whatever you do for krishna when you're talking talk about krishna talk about krishna to everybody so that others also become devotees okay this we already discussed right the gross body subtle body and then the soul so we are taking care of the gross body very nicely by eating food but we are not taking care of your ourselves our self is the soul right you are the soul why are you not eating you have to eat every day right uh, and what is that food that you have to eat you matlab soul food for soul is hari krishna mahamantra you have to chant otherwise you will have to starve okay your your you will not be happy soul will be happy only when it is fully fed right but you are not f- feeding your soul how will you how will you be happy tell me okay so you have to chant every day okay so now uh, so the body that you are seeing no uh, this uh, uh, is the causal body you are here because there is a cause of your previous janma okay that's why you are all in this body okay then comes the mental body that is the mind and intelligence what you think with okay and then comes the astral body for ima- uh, for emotions you know mind and intelligence they only think but emotions come from astral body okay that is a part of subtle body that is on the astral plane okay and then comes the physical body with what you act you move to walk you use your leg all that is the physical body okay so that ca- causal body that is after janmas and janmas you take a body right that is the ca- causal body we are talking about then the mental body astral body and then comes the physical body okay and so you are here the soul is here the soul does nothing but just observes okay so but the soul has lot of desires right go, wants to go back to krishna wants happiness and all so we have to make way for it by chanting hari krishna mahamantra regularly okay so this is intelligence okay the ability to think learn from experience solve problems all this is intelligence okay this is what you use your intelligence for now we have to make sure how we use our intelligence for achieving spiritual progress why because we are we all understood there is no point in living in this material world because this is dukkhalayam right always sufferings are there so we have to live in uh, we, we have to live in spiritual world with krishna for that you you should use your intelligence to think about krishna think only about krishna okay so now devotee association is very important i've told you in last class as well right you have to make friends with devotees okay if you don't make with friends uh, make friends with devotees then it's very difficult for us to progress in devo- krishna consciousness because we spend lot of time in school only than compared to house uh, we spend lot of time in school right we spend lot of time with classmates so make sure you find a devotee who is who is your classmate okay definitely there is at least there should be at least one person who believes in god in the entire class go find such person okay so mind mapping so this is called mind mapping okay you can all try this out okay this is like an experiment when you spend uh, one day you spend uh, uh, you divide it into two parts okay half day spend it spend time with people who are not devotees okay don't talk about god only i mean such people don't talk about god only okay go spend time with them see what you all uh, talk when you are together okay make a note of it okay what you all discussed what 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 kind of thoughts you got and all that what kind of ideas you got then the remaining half day go spend time only with devotees only with devotees okay you can make friends in this class also no this class all of us are devotees see we have 20 no 20 19 people so uh, you can all connect with each other right definitely the contact numbers are there in the group chat is open you can chat uh, individually you can uh, send messages and become friends right you can you can create a whatsapp group for yourself uh, for your uh, all groups right spend time only with devotees you can call one sunday you can call talk for an hour right discuss how many rounds are you chanting how many pages do you read bhagavad gita what do you read which video do you watch which book do you read krishna book okay you can discuss so uh, coming back to the experiment half a day spend time with non devotees another half day spend time only with devotees and then again write uh, the thoughts the ideas that you got what and all you discussed and then you see the difference compare both the documents and see the difference when you spend time with non devotees what you do when you spend time with devotees what you do okay now you will understand the greatness the value of being associated with a devotee 
only when you spend time with devotee you will constantly think about krishna speak about krishna okay you will do everything that takes you back to krishna but when you spend time with a non devotee you will also become like them animals now we are all animals who can speak civilized animals prabhupad says the moment you forget the lord forget krishna what we are called we are called animals two legged animals krishna uh, prabhupad says very nicely we are animals with very nice civilization you know english speaking animals prabhupad says so no difference between us and animals we are in ignorance forgetfulness darkness okay only when you become a devotee you are actually adding value to the human form of life krishna has given you otherwise you can write and keep somewhere i'm telling you if you don't become a devotee don't chant in this uh, janma you will definitely become an animal in your next janma okay why krishna says that only i have given you a human form what did you do you never chanted why do you want human form we are able to speak because we want to chant okay krishna gives us the ability to speak human beings can speak because human beings have to chant okay but you are using your ability to speak to speak everything else all the nonsense but not say holy name of the lord that means krishna will be like whatever i have given you you have not used it you have not used it for the right purpose so i am not giving you human form of life in the next janma you so we will all end up becoming animals okay so that's why mantra is important mantra is mind controlling instrument man tra tra means controlling man is man in hindi is what mind right so through chanting through the hare krishna maha mantra and mantra has so much power to control mind and hare krishna is maha mantra that means king of all mantras right very valuable mantra and because it has krishna and rama names repeating so many times in it hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare hare four times krishna's name four times rama's name in one mantra such mantras you chant for one or eight times we saw this right uh, one one name is equal, one ram's name is equal to say chanting vishnu sahasranama so many times so one krishna his name is equal to chanting ram's name i think around four times so that means you have chanted vishnu sahasranama so many times by saying krishna once and in hare krishna mahamantra you are saying krishna how many times four times can you imagine what's what's the value right so that's why it is called mahamantra and when you chant this krishna helps you control your mind and become a devotee you have to believe you know faith is important the chapter we are doing in itself is shraddha traya vibhaga yoga right faith is important faith in krishna is important okay then only everything works See, IQ versus EQ, emotional quotient. Okay, IQ we all know, intelligent uh, quotient, right? But emotional quotient is more important for us to achieve everything we do. Like when we study, we study with a bad mood. You think you will be able to understand whatever you study? So emotional quotient is very very important. Okay, how do you balance your emotion in your mind? How do you control your mind and keep it always happy with happy thoughts, good thoughts? Again through chanting. everything all problems one solution chanting every day okay see you are only listening no the entire uh, chapter that we are doing everything is coming back to chanting right so start chanting if you have not chanted okay see chaitanya mahaprabhu teachings of chaitanya mahaprabhu this is this sentence is taken from that okay there's a book called cheating uh, teachings of uh, chaitanya mahaprabhu you can also read it's a very nice short book okay so there is no question of darkness where there is light right when the moment sunrise comes sunrise happens uh, obviously darkness goes away right so wherever there is light there is no darkness in the same way wherever there is krishna krishna's thoughts going on there is no pla- place for bad thoughts devilish thoughts in mind okay so in a moment we can go back to krishna valmiki that's what happened with ratnakar right he chanted the moment he started chanting hare krishna all his sense sins lost place right no place for sins no place for bad thoughts so he became good same goes with us also okay and uh, yeah so if you want money like people who want money what do they do they worship lakshmi devi thinking they can they can become rich they can uh, they get nice money they can spend it for enjoyment uh, i will i will earn nice money i'll go abroad for uh, you know uh, trip holiday uh, i'll uh, i'll eat now lots of restaurant food and all that people think right with the with money they have but who is the supreme enjoyer krishna who has to enjoy him are we supposed to enjoy no what is our duty our duty is to serve krishna our duty is not not to enjoy our duty is to serve the lord see again we are in darkness no see they are all in the mode of darkness that means ignorance tamoguna that's why uh, they they don't know krishna is supposed to enjoy you should work hard earn money 
and dedicated to krishna's service okay if you want to travel go abroad go there are so many iskon temples no there is something called in new virginia there is something called uh, nava vrindavan as in new vrindavan okay in uh, west virginia okay uh, new vrindavan they have just uh, mimicked the vrindavan in uh, india and they have constructed nice temple there so beautiful go go to iskon go to see krishna go abroad to see krishna okay so go out you can uh, on weekends if you want to go out go go party where in a temple okay there are so many sankirtan parties going on in iskon temples go join there is dance there is kirtan there, there is nice food it's a full fledged outing you know on sundays if you if you stay in bangalore you can go to koramangala okay there is a nice bv group uh, there is a nice iskon center in koramangala just type on google uh, koramangala iskon center you'll get the location also just go there every saturday sunday there is class in the evening okay uh, it starts around 5 o'clock if i'm not wrong go there is nice krishna prasadam there is nice sankirtan there is aarti there is so many things you get nice krishna prasadam i mean i think at least minimum six different varieties of food okay so nice uh, delicacies you get that is the way you have to enjoy not going to some movie theater mall and all that that will not take you anywhere okay think before you do something think is there krishna in this will krishna like it if i do no uh, that is the way you can uh, control your mind and do always good things okay so people in the mode of goodness uh, now krishna is talking about austerity now food uh, and all we discuss no now austerity okay austerity in the mode of krishna consciousness is also divided into um, i mean uh, three modes that is uh, the passion ignorance and uh, good right so people who are good they offer obeisances to the lord and uh, parents all the elders teachers and all that and they respect one another okay and uh, see one thing we should understand uh, here uh, we we are seeing how a, a boy a male uh, person this is how a male person offers obeisances to the lord full shashtanga namaskara but a female shouldn't do this a female should offer obeisances like this okay uh, this is uh, only for male a female should offer obeisances only like this not like this okay remember this and um, then uh, so a uh, uh, a good person who is a devotee or who is any any good person will offer obeisances to parents every day okay um, spiritual master definitely our guru whoever you are learning about krishna consciousness from and then uh, uh, everything and then cleanliness cleanliness simplicity and celibacy these are also things belonging to austerity taking bath every day okay and uh, non violence is also austerity not hurting people okay i i might take little more time okay all that is about austerity you have to be non see non violent is also austerity don't hurt people okay and not speaking lies that is also austerity okay and um, do anything that offends i mean not doing anything that offends others that means not hurting people hurting people through words is also violence remember that so we should be non violent even through talking and then we have to chant the mantras see reciting vedas is very difficult now you cannot if i ask you to sit and read vedas will, will it be possible no there are four volumes no four vedas we have to recite that is impossible that's why krishna came and gave a concise form of it in the form of bhagavad gita you can recite just one shloka every day just read one shloka and pop it every day one shloka pop it can't you read 10 minutes can't you find time right 10 minutes for your japa 10 minutes for reading 20 minutes in the entire 24 hours definitely we can right now charity charity is what uh, uh, donating things right donating anything not just money so you need to do it for a good cause okay if you want to donate food don't just donate buy something some food and donate buy something offer it to the lord and donate it as prasadam okay if you if you are not in a position say if you are on road you cannot offer it to the lord hold the food in hand say krishna i am offering it to you in your mind and then offer it uh, and then leave for 5 minutes and then you uh, uh, donate it that becomes prasadam okay so uh, this way what you do you do something good okay so that's what uh, prabhupada is saying see um, proper time proper place okay you should know whom to donate see donating for some temple con construction is kon temple uh, mangaluru temple is also under construction so uh, don donating it's for some temple activities for some say janmashtami abhishekam is coming up for that if you donate these are all for the right causes okay people in people who are devotees will do all this 
and they don't expect anything in return okay charity means what donation giving away right like bali maharaj when vaman dev came and asked for uh, land uh, uh, i mean for uh, for place uh, space right what did bali maharaj to tell the last foot uh, where do i keep vaman dev said bali maharaj was like you have occupied everything now there is nothing else left you keep it on me only so he kept it on his head right and shukracharya came and told him bali maharaj don't uh, vaman dev will take you only away then bali maharaj was like no no it's fine he is asking something i've promised him that i will be giving and i have to give so uh, he was like keep it on my head so uh, vaman dev kept, kept his leg on his head okay and you know what happened to bali he went to patala he got a bigger kingdom on earth he had small but when he went to patala loka he had a, he got a bigger kingdom Lo- lot of nice facilities was there in that kingdom and he became a greater king okay so anything you give krishna krishna will return unlimited right fruit seller story remember so charity is that you don't expect anything in return okay you just give because you are giving it for the lord okay say krishna arpanam okay yeah so here construction of uh, temple uh, i i told you know in uh, iskon mangaluru temple construction is happening um, yeah so here satisfaction if you want to donate you can donate definitely and then satisfaction of the mind uh, can be obtained only by taking the mind away from thoughts of sense enjoyment okay uh, that's what bad thoughts you should you should take your mind out divert it away from bad thoughts bad, bad thoughts okay and think more about krishna uh, okay and then only your uh, mind will be satisfied because krishna krishna is there in your thoughts okay yeah so hiranyakashipu performed this austerity right he he meditated for so many years and see uh, this thing and all grew the the this is called uh, what is this called the snakes live no that that thing snakes house and all snakes caves and all grew on him right so uh, this is not ant hill uh, this is this is where snakes grow a uh, snake stay okay uh, snake stay right uh, that that thing grew around him uh, so this is also not um, uh, required because see valmiki also did the same thing right he also meditated for years but why did he do he chanted the holy name of the lord to become a devotee of the lord but you know what uh, snake house yes you know what um, uh, hiranyakashipu did it for he did it to rule over the lord he he asked brahma i want a uh, um, um, uh, you know a boon saying i want to live eternally i don't want death only okay how is that possible once you are on this material world you have to die right hiranyakashipu is like give me a boon saying nobody can kill me no animal no species can kill me that's why um that's why uh, 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 lord had to come in that mixed form half human half lion form because he told no species on this earth can kill me right so there is no species which is half human half lion right that's why narasimha dev had to come and kill him right so this is wrong he is doing it for his purpose uh, his uh, sense gratification right so charity see charity you give from this hand and you expect something from this hand that is wrong okay charity means giving donating you just donate it you don't have to expect something in return okay so if you expect something in return that is in the mode of passion you are doing okay i'm doing it i will give something okay and this is charity in the mode of ignorance okay in the ignorance means uh, this person is asking money for something bad right for alcohol for smoking drinking and all that he is asking and this person is giving him money you know it is for bad purpose and why you why are you giving you should not encourage bad things right uh, so this is cha- uh, charity in the mode of ignorance this for this charity krishna also will not be uh, full, happy and you will not get get back anything you will get papa karma back if you do such charities okay ultimately the conclusion om tat sat okay krishna is the supreme absolute truth okay he is the beginning of the creation he is the end of the creation he is the middle of creation we saw this right in vibhuti yoga and um, so supreme absolute truth om tat sat om means krishna right that you are, uh, are the eternal truth okay om krishna is the absolute eternal truth we have to understand he is the supreme okay uh, so in the when you chant any vedic mantra uh, every mantra starts with om in the beginning just to make sure we are dedicating it to the lord okay so vedas when you chant every mantra every mantra you dedicate it to the lord in the same way 
whatever we do also we have to dedicate it to the lord all the sacrifices everything ultimately goes to krishna see when you go for some fire sacrifice no some homa and all that what happens um you sit for the fire sacrifice uh, yagna kunda in front of yagna kunda you sit and then uh, after most of the mantras uh, the uh, priest will say krishna arpanam or krishna arpanam astu right everything should ultimately reach krishna okay uh, because he is a supreme enjoyer dhruv maharaj 5 years old he was he went to the forest and he stood on one feet uh, uh, sorry one foot and he started meditating right he became a devotee when he was 5 years old right so uh, what are we doing right uh, even after so telling so many classes people are still not chanting right so if he can become a devotee in 5 years we can also become a devotee okay uh, it's not difficult you just need to make up your mind and find little time 10 minutes every day to chant okay so om tat vishnu paramam padam paramam padam so he is the supreme abode okay his lotus feet is everything okay so his uh, paramam padam means his lotus feet is everything the ultimate you know devotional platform our house okay okay and uh, then act should be performed uh, for the ultimate gain of being transferred to the spiritual kingdom back home back to godhead so just now what i told you okay whatever we do we should do to with an intention to go back to krishna and serve him become a devotee of the lord okay uh, so whatever we do we should do for the lord okay uh, simple example for eating also eating eat eat prasadam so that time you are doing something you are first offering it to the lord and then you are eating right uh, we should say om in every mantra because om means krishna is the supreme personality om indicates krishna okay so we we are saying mantra uh, uh, most mantras have om in it uh, um, because um, the mantra whatever you are chanting is dedicated to krishna okay if the if the mantra does not have krishna in it then it has om in it we say om namo narayanaya but do we say om hare krishna hare krishna no because krishna is already there in hare krishna mahamantra that's why we don't say om but when is when we say narayanaya we say om namo narayanaya so that means narayana is a expansion of krishna right krishna is the ultimate uh, absolute lord right so om means krishna whatever mantra we are saying ultimately it, it should reach uh, krishna okay om ganeshaya namaha we say we are uh, indirectly uh, praising ganesh uh, Ga- uh, lord ganesh but that mantra also should reach the lord that we are uh, uh, krishna that's why we are saying om om namah shivaya right om means krishna okay whatever you are doing you should do it for the lord it should reach the lord that's why we are adding om in the middle uh, i mean in the beginning okay first krishna then others okay uh, right om Nam- uh, om ganesha namah see om is coming in the beginning only because krishna is the supreme he should first be praised then only others okay all other gods ganesha narayana shiva anybody you take first om okay then only others so uh, because whatever we are mantra we are chanting it should go to the lord first not others okay others comes later because others are also devotees of the lord only ganesh he is a servitor of the lord shiva he is a servitor of the lord everybody is serving the lord with their duties brahma servitor of the lord right so lord comes first then his servitors okay that's why om om comes first om means krishna remember so much okay now yeah so shrimad bhagavatam hearing we, we just saw no uh, hearing process uh, so uh, hearing shravanam kirtanam and all here shravanam parikshit maharaj is hearing sh- uh, shravanam he is doing shravanam from uh, shukade goswami shukade goswami is doing kirtanam by narrating shrimad bhagavatam right so shravanam kirtanam easiest way and both together is when you chant hari krishna maha mantra and every day we have to be gratit uh, we have to show gratitude to the lord we have to offer thanks to the lord how by to go to going to him wherever you have krishna's photo or dt at home go in front of the dt bow down and thank him say whatever you have given me it is your mercy whatever i have today it is your mercy because krishna is the one who has given us everything right and yeah for the ultimate solution the key to all problems is awakening krishna consciousness right and how do you awaken krishna consciousness how do you go to krishna consciousness how do you become a devotee by chanting hari krishna maha mantra every day okay uh, that is what chaitanya mahaprabhu says when you when you chant regularly 
you at at once you go to krishna uh, uh, you know uh, at once you can become a devotee you can go to krishna conscious platform just by chanting ratnakar story remember all right uh, just by chanting you can uh, go to krishna consciousness there is no other way there is no other way okay uh, and a soul in krishna consciousness is called a mahatma great soul okay because he chants every day okay this is a nice poem you can also try uh, okay uh, these are all just instantly you know you can just instantly come up with poems these are all written by devotees okay uh, when you chant you will experience the bond between you and krishna you will under, you will understand krishna means so much to you you cannot live without krishna that is the bond you share with krishna okay it all happens only when you chant you will get lot of experiences and all this experience i told you you have to experience i cannot explain you all this it is only through chanting that you can experience and the moment you experience all this you will also start becoming a poet like this you will also start writing okay um yeah so that means everything uh, uh, this poem says everything is for you see three for you one for me if you have something first offer it to the lord everything and then you are taking little from it right so three for you most of it goes to krishna little of it you will take it for yourself why because krishna is the supreme enjoyer he should enjoy not us okay hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare okay i want to show you a video okay it's a very small video uh, let's quickly watch and then i will answer your questions